All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tinker and we're Brian the Grizzly, and we are doing a uh, special kind of review. Uh, we are talking about Talk to Me. Talk to Me, the new horror thriller film that just came out that everyone is talking about. Everyone's claiming it's the scariest thing they've seen all year. Um, and you guys so- know I don't do scary, so if you need to watch it, <laughs> A24, and y'all, yeah, some you got problems. Yeah, you guys think about this thing. They think this whole thing up. You got problems. Let yeah, you know. yeah. So right, right off the bat, we're gonna get into our ratings at the end. Um, whether it be a now, later, never. We're gonna talk about some of the bad stuff, some of the good stuff. Um, but before we do that, Brian's gonna give us a quick synopsis of uh, what this movie's about. Mm-hmm. When a group of friends discovers how to conjure spirits by uh, using an embalming embalmed hand, they become hooked on the new thrill. Until one of them unleashes terrifying supernatural forces that they cannot control. Yeah. That's pretty much what happened, guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a nice. Stupid being stupid. <laughs> yeah, kids being stupid with, uh, you know, supernatural, scary stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so before we get into some of that, it is Australian. It is an Australian mm-hmm. movie, so you get a lot of Aussies and or Aussies, whatever. Uh, so you get the accents. No, uh, no, no, no. I don't know. But also, more importantly, this is written and directed by two brothers who are YouTubers. Yeah, you know they're YouTubers, kind of. I want to say they're not big shot, you know, people, you know, <laughs> that we, we see all the time, you know, Nolans and Greta Gerwigs and all that stuff. These are two YouTubers, two brothers working with A24. Sounds fun right off the mm-hmm. bat, you know. Um, and that makes but, sense. And when you talk about the movie, I mean, with all of it, how much of the YouTube type of stuff that was going on and them filming and how that eggs along a lot of the, a lot of the, 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 the stuff that happens in the movie. It pushes mm-hmm. along the story. It feels like a a scary movie or a horror movie that probably more related to the younger people of like mm-hmm. today's world. You know what I mean? Like scary movies are always going to be young people, but it's always going to be young people to whatever generation it is. Um, and I feel like this generation might have this type of type of style, you know, where the internet and video recording is going to be involved in in a lot of it yeah i mean um, have you ever seen a teenager anyone between the ages of 14 to 30 and i have their phone filming yeah. all the stuff that they do hey i want to show you what i eat you know yeah. especially you're gonna see something really cool like we're gonna talk about conjuring spirits and this literally gonna take over my body and mm-hmm. you can see my my pupils change and you're gonna see you can see you know i'm getting closer to death and time's out let's stop yeah yeah i don't see anything bad going on there <laughs> yeah, it, it, but I mean, it also remind me of other movies, ever other movie movies like um um, Flatliners. Mm-hmm. You know, you know the same idea of pushing something to the edge of where you almost might die, and and, and getting the high from that kind of thing. So, you know, it's like it's nothing. It's not a new concept with it. What they did. Um, mm-hmm. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, you know. Um, it's more updated for today's world, which I'm always cool with that. Um, but I, the con- I don't know how you felt. I thought the concept was great, was was super great with the hand, you know, and and the hand has all this writing on it, and no one really knows anything about it, the backstory of it, which is more interesting. Um, I don't know how how you feel about the up. whole idea. It messed me up. Cause you know I come yeah. down here. I'm down here talking to you guys four or five times a week, right? <laughs> and I was like, man, what's what's around me, man? I don't know. If I see a hand <laughs> around, I don't need to be holding nothing. I don't want, I'm, I'm not gonna hold my football when I'm talking to you guys now. For now on, you never know who's been watching and who's been holding <laughs> on to it. I don't need any spirits being conjured into me. Oh, it's great YouTube. Hey, Brian, let's do it again. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, but the whole idea of like talking to the dead through this this item through a hand, you know, I, I think is very interesting. You know, so it's like what you know, because because they they stay very um, um, general with it all. Um, they don't really give you any backstories. Like, so is this from a body? 
or mm-hmm. is this like a fake hand? Is there something in the hand? You know, they, they didn't they say like it's like the devil's hand inside the or something? Like, there was something inside the the cast or the mold. Yeah. You know, so that I'm 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 super curious more. Is like, are there more body parts? <laughs> you know, it's like, is there a head floating around somewhere that like literally makes you go crazy, or you know, the other hand? You know, like evil toe running around somewhere. Yeah. You know? I felt like Mia was so much more engaging in her her life, like her the way the things she's done with her life. I would have thought that she would be the last person that wanna deal with the hand after she's already faced death. You know? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that surprised me. Um like I thought that she would be totally wanna to go the opposite way. And she's the one that pushes the envelope more than anyone. Causes other people to go get in the, fall into a coma. She does all this stuff. I'm like, why? 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 But I guess you know why. Because, you know, if yeah. it pretends to be your mother, then you'll push the envelope. To, you know, that connection really matters. Yeah. Yeah. Which, did you see that coming? I did not see that coming. I did not think, like, the mom from the other side was going to yeah. somehow talk to her. Yeah. You know? I, I was shocked, honestly. This, and there's like three times in this movie, this this film that I was shocked by stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, even the end, the end, I was like, I did not see that coming. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like so the end. I've I'm always I always always say a horror movie, a scary movie has to have a good ending. If it has a, a silly ending, it kind of ruins the whole movie. Um, there's been very bad ones where they 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 realize who the 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 ghost is or who the bad guy is or who's the the scary creature and it's stupid this Mm -hmm. has one of the best endings in a horror movie i've seen in a long time you know but it's also a probably since another a24 movie like hereditary had a great ending you know Mm -hmm. midsummer had a great ending you know so it was like these guys know how to how to stick the landing you know with these good scary horror kind of movies I think right. they know what it, what, how important it is, and they know that if you do do that, that everything is you, you're going to make the movie ten times better. You yeah, know, I think about Smile. I thought the ending of Smile mm-hmm. was just okay. You know, if they would have really stuck the landing, we we're talking about a great, great movie. This is probably more opposite. You know, this ending was so well; they did such a good job, and they did a good job leading up to that with having the connections to the family and how trying to balance the idea of you know who's your family. And you know this new family that you have, and how can you balance these two things out? I th- that's something that most people will be able to to uh, deal with and understand. Mm-hmm. Because you know, mm-hmm. even, even as you get older, you know, you get married, or you know, you have significant people in your life that you have to balance them out along with the people that you already had in your life before. So it's something that you that makes sense to everybody in all genres. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, th- I enjoyed that part. Yeah. Um. So was was there a part of the movie that was like a, a fa- like your favorite part of the movie? Um, or just a, uh, the, the the mother part was yeah, and then going past the time and her for 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 uh, Sophia to to know that what what the consequences could be, mm-hmm. and still pushing the envelope, knowing that I thought that was like I was like at the edge of my seat, like. Mm-hmm. Are you really? Is this really about to happen? Is he going to fall into a coma? Is he going to die? Yeah, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, then the ending pretty shocked me to shock too, and I was like, not another one. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For for me, besides the ending, because the ending was the best part. Um, I I guess he like the you know spoiler if you already don't know um the twist of the mother. You know, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, because it's like the whole thing was like it's the mom. Oh my god, like she still loves her, and then it, you know, there's all these teases of other things. But towards the end, it's like, wait, is this the mom? Exactly, or is this, this the mom? Another evil spirit pretending to be the mom, or like what's going on? And it just pulled me, you in so more. It's because like, yeah, she loves her mom and the way her mom died and you know sucks and this and that and and there's a lot of trauma and and stuff she has to deal with plus everything else going on in the real world and everything going on in her head and Mm -hmm. and the mom just there like pushing her to the edge and it was like like what is going on like what really happened and i think that's one of my favorite parts of this movie is like you don't you kind of think what 
is really going on, but you don't quite know, you know, like, did she kill herself? Did she not kill herself? Like, was the dad involved? Like, what, like, what's real and what's not real? You know, even when she gets pulled into, uh, like, hell, I guess. Yeah. And she sees her friend being tortured. Was that real? You know, it's like. How much was this was in her own head? And how much was it that she, she was the one that was being taken over by the ghost? And they were able to read her and like, what's real, what's fake? I mm-hmm. literally thought that she might be the one that's being taken taken over, and we're just seeing it through her own eyes. Exactly, exactly. So that's why I loved that whole whole idea, whole aspect that played out through the whole movie of of once she be once she did the 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 hand thing to the very end is just like yeah. what is real, um, which was really super super awesome. Um, so we're getting some of the bad stuff. Um, what didn't you like about this movie? Um. Oh, was, some parts were a little slow. It, it took mm-hmm. some, some time to build. Um, mm-hmm. They really didn't. There's no. There's times where they didn't care about life overall. And, you know, it's annoying. Kids are annoying as fuck to me. This <laughs> honestly, this is what it is. You know, they're just you're, you're just doing stupid stuff. And I'm like, that's the dumbest thing in the world. And you know, I say that and then I'm on YouTube five times a week. But my point is still like, this is so stupid. Why are you filming this? Why are you taking the chance like this? You know, and mm-hmm. I thought that was just overall the, the the entire concept of the movie is stupid to me. Mm-hmm. But the movie, the way is well, how it's done and how well they do, I, I enjoyed it. And I wish I had time. Like I know you you went back and looked to see what what hand was what. Mm-hmm. I I wish I had more time to do that. But the movie was kind. Though I say it has slow parts, it went really really fast when it was going. It was going. Yeah. You know I mean, you, I had to question a few things like, what, what did that just happen? Or what, what just happened? You know, this is, it was like over in a hundred, a hundred minutes. The whole movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. It's yeah. Hour and a half. It's just, so. it's 824. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. They, they usually jump around and wait, like I said, when things get going, they get going. And then there's parts where you're like, eh. Okay, you know, like kind of go. I didn't have that much slow parts with it. Um, you know, like the the kids being dumb is kind of like that's a staple in horror films. You know, it's like like kids are always gonna do dumb stuff in horror films because they they exa- obviously they exaggerate a lot. Everything's very very silly. They don't like um, not silly but over the top. You know, because it has to be. You know, and it's always been like that. You know, like there's been commercials making fun of it. We're like, Oh, Hey, let's go into the car and, and get away. They're like, no, what? He's not expecting that. Let's go hide in the woods by ourselves. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so like, there's always like, you know, like younger kids doing, doing silly stuff. You know, that's just the genre of, of that, of this, of this film, uh, horror films. Um, you know, and, and it was here too, you know, they're being goofy and being silly and like, you know, and that was like one thing for me right off the bat was like, everyone, sees these ghosts yeah and they know what happens and i was like to do this and then they're still fucking around with it and i was like what are you guys what are you doing like what are you doing like they're messing with their hand like all of them even the um who's it uh joss and Haley were like the people that that start like not start but they would be the the heads of the parties that were like you know um you know they were like the guy brought in, she like helped control stuff like that, timed it. Um, but even like at, in one scene, they were, they were messing around and getting high and used the hand to hold the blunt and stuff like that, which is funny, you know, cause like, yeah, of course, once you're, you're, you're drunk and you do silly stuff like that. But I was like, I mean, I remember being a teenager. Thing that bring that, that conscious ghost. Yeah. And acting like, this is just okay. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, you're just talking to dead people. And letting them enter your body, you're like, woo, let's go. You know, it's like, what? <laughs> like, what? This is a party you know? trick, guys. Party trick. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So I, so I thought that was uh, not bad, but a little a little silly, a little over the top. But again, like I said, it's, it's a horror film. So, you know, young high schoolers are going to always be like that in, in scary movies. Yeah. Um, though, though, the other thing I, I didn't quite like was um uh um sue was the mom 
Yeah, there's a part. You know, she was super. She was super funny. It was kind of kind of funny. We you know talking about the party and, and stuff like that. But then when like Mia went back to the hospital and and the mom just like ripped into her, you know, like this is your fault. Blah blah. blah. I was like, like damn, like like w- w- could some could a, a mother be that 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 aggressive and hateful to another person you know knowing especially what what she went through you know and yeah, but she was going I mean, against it's about who she had connection with still she's you know she, yeah it wasn't her daughter yeah she was her daughter but she wasn't her daughter yeah like I, I i get that but it's like i'm like i don't i i understand what they were going for and stuff like that but i just felt like that was just too over the top and i'm like I'm sure there are people like that in the real world who are just like like that, but I don't know. Like, I, it just felt like like icky with me when I watched it. I'm like, oh come on, lady, like really? Like I I get like you know your your son's dying, but also it's not her fault exactly. And and you know then then the sis the sister her best friend um also you know being upset at her. You know I'm like mm-hmm. I get it. You know, you didn't want to do it. You forced him to do it, but also he wanted to do it. As you know, like you know, there's there's stuff like that. But it was just like it, it went from like zero to a hundred. Yeah, just in their relationship, like, like, like bad. You I know love I mean? you. I love you. You're so great. And then now uh, you were the reason why my son's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know. I mean, you, you can explain it was like all the ghosts, you know, spirits messing with them. I don't know, but. That, that was really my only part that I didn't like. Like, you know, I, I, I actually like it. I heard a lot of people not liking that they didn't get enough backstory from the hand. And I like that. Oh, that, that allows you to do whatever. Thick. You could do a prequel. Mm-hmm. You could do in between. You could do a sequel and explains where the hand comes from. You could have another hand. You could have another body part, as you said before. Mm-hmm. You know, there could be an entire body that's being chopped up in there. This is going on all around the United States or all around the world. Yeah. That looks like well, the end of this movie looks like it's all around the world, right? So, because they end up in uh, somewhere in a Spanish-speaking country, so yep. yeah, that's gonna be kind of interesting to do. Um, because what if you're the ghost <laughs> and they start speaking Spanish? What do you do then? You're like, uh, okay, you got, trans- you got a translator, <laughs> <laughs> you got a translator ghost. Um, but yeah, but, they, but no, 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 Mr. Superman here. Mr. Superman, no here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Talk to me. No, 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 no. Talk to me. No, no, no. No, no, no. Talk to you. No. <laughs> That's funny. That's me because you know I don't like these scary movies. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, Mr. Brian, no Gusty here. <laughs> no. That's that. So we'll finish things up with our ratings. Uh, so here, here at Spoiler Kings, we do things nice and easy. Now, later, never. Now means you got to check it out right now. Later means you can wait till it's out streaming. And never means just skip it. Uh, with that being said, what are you giving? Talk to me, Brian. I went into the movie thinking this is going to be a later. Just perfectly honest. I was going to this thing. I was like, eh, whatever. It's going to be a whatever. And I don't like scary movies. But this is if you do like scary movies... This is a now for you. Go see it. It's very interesting. It's definitely, I don't know if it's the best, it's not the best horror film I've ever ever seen, but it's definitely top three I've seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and H24 just keeps on putting out bangers. How can you, you can't disagree with it. You you know what it's going to be. It's going to be a great movie. It's going to have a great story, and they're going to do some crazy stuff with some black eyes that look like little, little gecko eyes. It's craziness. But uh, yeah, it's a now for me. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so, kind of same thing. I wasn't too hyped about it. I'm like, okay, you know, it didn't really get a lot of promotion, um, you know. But it had the A24 film, so I'm like, obviously, I'll give it a chance. And yeah, when when this movie was done, I was like, wow, this this is for sure now. This is for sure now. Um, yeah, it it, it is it is great. Um, it, it isn't. I think it's a little overhyped with people saying like, "Oh, it's the scariest movie I ever seen. It's the scariest movie of this year." Probably not. Um, yeah, but be this year, that's not saying anything, yeah. though. I mean, I thought Evil Dead was was more I scary, was, was I scarier, was scarier and gory. Gorier. I thought it was more a lot more yeah. gorier. Yeah, yeah. I would say it was scarier, but Talk to Me is a better film put together. 
I think I think it's smarter. I think uh, the concept behind it is great. I think the whole everything was just was really really um, done um, in a great way. Where it just not only makes it a, a good scary movie or horror movie, it also makes it just a great movie in general. Mm-hmm. You know, and and like you said, like, you're not a horror fan, but you you enjoyed this one. So I did. Yeah, you know, that 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 says tons about it. Um, so I'm giving it an out there. I'll never watch it again. I might watch. I might make my girlfriend watch it because I think she might like it. She'll be able to get through it. I think so. Yeah, you'll be able to get through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then also, real quick, with the Rotten Tomatoes, uh, we got 257 critics reviewed this one and gave it a 95. percent And then also with the audience, we got 500 plus verified uh, ratings, giving it 82. Hey, percent so. And that's a big thing for for a horror movie. You're going and going on some. Horror movie and some horror, horror movie people live and die by it. Like, oh no, this is my genre. This is what I love. I'm only one like this type of movie, and it's mm. this is not like that. It's different. Yeah, well, yeah. You yeah. know, the budget was four and a half mil, and it made uh, the in the box office so far a little bit over twenty six mil. So yeah. it's doing good. It's doing good. You know, on, on Google the the raters are a little bit. I think fifty two percent of google users liked it you know imdb 7.5 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 yeah so yeah it, it is what it is but we both recommend going to see it it is it is a, a great movie um one that kind of le- le- kind of makes you start thinking about the movie more even when it's over you know those are always good ones it's a good um, thriller guys that's what it is for sure for sure for sure i think you have a good time if you can get past their uh australian accents <laughs> Crikey, she's calling me by the dangle day. <laughs> Which I don't Ingo, mind. I... Wallaby. Yeah. Hugh yeah. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, you hear they do still keep their uh, Australian accents. So um, it could be a problem with some people. I think it's all right. It's not, I watch a lot of Australian um, YouTubers anyway. So <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Um, anything else, man, with this one? Oh. No, I, I'm surprised I actually did a, a, a review of a horror movie. Everyone tell Perp minded. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> got to start giving you a little, 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 uh, little crown or little, something. I did little it. Award. I Yay. Did it. <laughs> nice. Um, but cool. Cool. Yeah, that's what we think about uh, Talk To Me. I know it's out. it's been out for a little while. We're a little late with this one, uh, but we still want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about Talk To Me. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it scary? Was it not scary? Um, let us know what you think and leave a comment. And we appreciate everyone hanging out, coming out. Check us out uh, live Mondays and Thursdays. Um, we always have a lot of fun in the live show, so make sure you come and hang out with us live. Uh, we really appreciate that. But we are out of here. Thank you, guys. And see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.